Hi everyone, in my presentation I will talk about a male-male interaction in the spider Trichonephila clavis that we found to be misinterpreted as a contest phase. Usually, animal contests are represented as physical aggression, so fights with physical contacts. Although, sometimes these fights can be without contacts, so fights where the individual do not inflict direct damage in the opponent. In specific for this kind of fights, a frequently used approach to identify the assessment strategy is to, to evaluate the relationship between fighting capacity and contest duration. In all assessment strategies, we expect a positive relationship between the loser fighting capacity and the contest duration. But in specific if the individuals perform mutual assessment, we also expect a negative relationship between the winner fighting capacity and the contest duration. However, many empirical studies fail to find conclusive, conclusive results that predict a assessment strategies on the field, even if the individual seems to perform a mutual assessment. A possible explanation for that is that in species where individuals fight for a resource, an intruder may probe the presence of an owner, so the intruder will find a resource and do a probing behavior. If the resource has an owner, the intruder may opt to search for another undefended resource, so the intruder will run away. Therefore, this interaction duration should be unrelated to fighting capacity of winners and losers in this probing behavior. So, an empirical study that misinterpreted this probing behavior as a contest phase can face difficulties to predict an assessment strategy. An uh, uh, animal that research face difficult to predict an assessment strategy in fights are the spider Trichonephila clavis. So, uh, the males establishing females webs, uh, one male in the central position and in the, the other males in the periphery of the web. These males fight for the central position. And the first phase of this fight is a vibration interaction, where the peripheral male approach the central male using their frontal legs and doing vibration webs, and the central male responds. So, we observed this interaction and asked what's the function of this vibration interaction, and we, we hypothesized that. The vibration interaction in is a contest phase in which males perform mutual assessment, and we also hypothesize that the vibration interaction is a non-agonist probing behavior. And what we did to test this hypothesis. First, we went to the field and searched for female webs, where males aggregate. After that, we estimate the fighting capacity of these males using uh, the, the measure of the length of males' frontal legs. And to estimate the vibration interaction duration, we recorded each phase of the context. And where, what we expected to found if our first hypothesis was true, so, males perform mutual assessment. So, here in x axis, we have the front leg length of males, and here in y axis, we have the duration of the vibration interaction. We expected to find a negative relationship between the duration of the vibration interaction and the front leg length of the winner males, and we expected to find a positive relationship between the duration of the vibration interaction and the front leg length of the loser males. And what we found? So, first for the winner male, we found that the duration of the vibration interaction is unrelated to front leg lengths of the winner males. And for the loser rivals, we found that the duration of the vibration interaction is also unrelated to front leg lengths of the loser males. Therefore, our first hypothesis wasn't true. And what we expected to find for our second hypothesis. So, we expected to find that the duration of the vibration interaction is unrelated to front leg lengths of males. But to test this hypothesis using a linear regression would be equivalent to test a new hypothesis. So, to avoid this 95% bias, we developed a probing test. So, what we did in this probing test? First, we measured the leg length asymmetry between rivals and ordered these values to the smallest to the greatest pair. 
After that, we did a matrix. Uh, okay, so not that kind of matrix. We did a matrix with the duration difference of the vibration interaction. Uh, for example, here, the first value of our matrix was the duration difference of the vibration interaction of the smallest leg length asymmetry value and the second small, smallest leg length asymmetry value. So, we ordered this data in the upper tree of our matrix and did uh, expect expectation of zero. So, if this mean value was a positive value, give support to us to a mutual assessment. And if these values were handling distribution in the matrix, give support to us to a probing behavior. And what we found? So, we found a value border to zero that indicates to us that this vibration interaction is actually a probe behavior of the peripheral male to search for a central male in the female web. So, why these results are cool? So, this, this context phase is actually a probing behavior. Therefore, the context in C. clavis males are represented only by a physical phase. So, this low frequency of contest may be because the injuries in this aggressive behavior. And, in general, studies may consider a probing behavior as initial phase of contest. So, misinterpreting this probe behavior as a contest phase can uh, result in a bias in, 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 in results of empirical studies. And these studies face difficult to predict an assessment strategy. Another possible possible implication is that in these studies that they, the, the researchers misinterpret this probing behavior as a contest phase, they, they, the results of the fights will be the owner always win. So, if the owner always win, they can give, give support for a residence effect in this, space, in this species that do not exist. So, I leave you with some take-home answers. The first one is that the vibration interaction between C. clavis males and female webs is not part of a context. In fact, is a non-agonist non probing behavior. Not all apparently aggressive interactions are necessarily ag agonist contexts. Therefore, the inclusion of this interaction with actual agonist contexts may bias assessment strategy analysis. And it remains to be understood in which situation probing should be favored. Thank you, everyone.